What's up, Phaser Games? It's Mr. Compeng, and I've got more Team Fortress 2 for you. I have one thing to say really quick, and it's, I'm sorry that this is so long. It's going to be about a 15-minute video. I tried to speed it up in Vegas, but then I couldn't speed up the audio with the video, so it didn't sound right, and I turned off the audio, but then it didn't look right, and it ended too soon. Or sooner than it should, even though all the clips were there. I really don't know what happened there, but, um, yeah, I watched it, I decided, eh, I can still commentate over this whole thing, I think, kind of go through my actions a little bit in detail here. I guess I should just start off and say that it's control point. I'm starting to branch off into new directions in Team Fortress 2, new, um, new game modes. And the one that I found recently is Control Point. If you haven't tried it, you need to try it. It is fantastic. And I decided that if I'm going to hit a new game mode, I'm going to use my favorite class. I'm going to I'm going to get in there and I'm going to hit it hard, right? So we got the offensive NG. Excuse me, had to burp. We got the Frontier Justice. All right, awesome shotgun. Your sentry gets destroyed. Then you get instant crit. Alright, nothing better than that. The gun slinger, which is my little robotic hand, allows me to have the mini sentries. They, they build twice as fast, they use half the material, and they're really weak, but you're going to see that I keep one up all the time. I'm using, you know, just of, and the pistol. How could I forget about the pistol? Honestly, how could I forget about the pistol? It is the most important thing here. And then, what I'm going to do here... You're going to see this repeatedly. This is three games back to back. The first game, we dominate. The second game, we're being dominated, but we come back. Honestly, they have like 30 seconds left on the clock. We come back and we just decimate them. Like, you would not believe. And in the third game, well, we just dominate them. Just no question about it. Anyways, this is my favorite class for a reason. You put up the mini sentry. On this map, specifically... It protects a single side. You know, it, it's actually very good at protecting a side. You get there with your pistol, and honestly, the enemy isn't even going to notice their health dropping. Because you got that mini sentry doing damage, you got your pistol doing damage, and honestly, your pistol does something like 8 damage each hit. Maybe, how much damage does it? it I think it goes as low as 8, and I've seen it go as high as 45 on a crit each hit, and then your sentry does something like 6 or 7 damage each hit too. So we're talking minimal damage per hit, but when you put the two together and they're focused on even a heavy, you're going to see a couple times where I take out some heavies with this setup. That's how powerful this engineer is. Now then, I was kind of pissed off because throughout these games there's kind of some other engineers we are either AFK or doing stuff like building teleporters. In this map especially, teleporters are not necessary at all. Alright. You come out of the spawn, you walk 10 feet, and you're at the control point. There's no need for a teleporter. There's no need to beef up a sentry gun and try to put it out because it's just gonna get destroyed right away that's why I'm using mini sentries they come up faster they do minimal damage but still they're cannon fodder and they do damage which is the main thing is to suppress your enemy right and that's what they do that's what they're effective at and when they get destroyed well look I get crits right there now then <clears throat> as well they were getting fully upgraded dispensers that also is not necessary. You're going to notice that I keep putting down a dispenser behind the control point on my team's side. I do it there instead of by spawn, because if you're coming out of spawn, you're already full health, and you're already full of ammo and material, because, well, you're at spawn, and there are resupply cabinets. I put it on the front line there because we had a pyro on the enemy team, setting people on fire, and it will extinguish fire. So that's why I had it in the front. Or sorry, behind behind the control point on our side. So that way, anybody can kind of come by just replenish ammo right away. Anyone who's on fire, right away, they can come back, they can get their health back, and they can, you know, 
be extinguished, and they can go join the fight right away again. Now this is the second game here. This is a game where it looks like we're going to lose, but honestly, we just pull it out of our asses at the end. It is amazing. I don't even know how we did it, but we did. Okay. And then, see this pyro just pissed me off. See right here, this is the only health pack on our side of the map. Besides the one in the little hut. So, I mean, if there's three people on fire, there's only two health packs. You need something else. Hence the dispenser. It doesn't need to be upgraded, because it's there simply for resupply. And it's not, res you, it's not resupplying very often. Sorry, sometimes when I'm trying to think and speak and watch at the same time, things don't come out properly, so I have to actually enunciate all my words. And then get back on track. Now then, let me just say, I hate scouts. If you're a sniper, they're impossible to hit. Like, honestly, it's just impossible. Now then, my most used weapon in this game is my pistol. Okay, and honestly, half the time while I'm shooting my pistol, I'm not hitting anybody. But that's just because the accuracy is actually pretty bad. Uh, especially at range. But the thing is, I'm still shooting at them. Because I've got my dispenser that's going to replenish me. Which is what's important there with the dispenser, right? So now then, what am I trying to say here? What am I, That pissed me off, that engineer that was just AFK there. I'm like, seriously dude, why the fuck are you here? If you guys are going to go into a game, and you're going to sit there AFK, just get the fuck out. Seriously, get the fuck out. If you're not going to help your team, get out. Especially in a game like Team Fortress 2. I mean, I realize that this is going to be my tips on how to be an offensive engineer in a control point uh, game mode. But, honestly, it doesn't matter what class you're playing if your team isn't being a team. Right? Now, this guy, he talked a few times. He wanted me to protect his... Uh, his sentry at one point, but I was able to get there. There are a few times where um, he starts to yell about his team. Because his team was actually pretty dumb in one of the last ones. And before these ones, I had a pretty dumb team myself. Which made me very upset, because honestly, I can't stand... Like, I don't care about KDR in Team Fortress 2. Not like I do in COD. But, I do care about win-loss. I care about winning these games. I mean... If I'm playing the scout, I will go 0 and 20. As long as I push that cart all the way to the end, or as long as I'm on that control point all the time. That's what matters. Luckily with the engineer, you're going to see that I actually dominated quite a few people. I dominated some heavies. Like, right here, there's a heavy there, and honestly, he should kill me. But he didn't, luckily. At some point, there's actually a heavy, he killed the demo man, and I'm the last person on the point while he's trying to get it, and I managed to actually survive. Quite lucky, actually. <clears throat> Anyways, control point, it's awesome. It's three minute matches that can go as long as six minutes. Alright, you get three minutes, whoever controls the point for the three minutes is the victor. Right? And of course you just gotta defend it. Yeah. And then right here, you're gonna see that eventually, I think they get down to about 30 seconds left on their clock. Alright. And we managed to pull it out of our ass. And then right here, I find that the prime location for the sentries is not in the control point itself. Because, what is the sentry gun going to do in the control point area? It's going to defend the control point from people who are already inside the control point. You don't want to stop them while they're in the control point. You want to stop them before they get to the control point. That's what you need to do with your sentry gun. You need to put it either on the left side or the right side. Whichever side is less defended by your own team or is being defended by your own team but has more enemies on it. Which, a lot of times, is that side right there. They come out of the spawn from the back or through the beginning. Right there you see I just completely decimated a heavy with my sentry and my pistol. Do you guys see the power of this setup? Okay, 
the sentry gun and the pistol can take out a heavy. I mean, an engineer is a squishy. Okay, we are squishy people. I'm just saying. In real life and in video games. I'm thinking computer engineering, and I'll be the first one to admit it, I'm a little wimp. But give me a little piece of technology and a gun? Well, you know what? I'll take it down. I'm just saying. And then, it's honestly just kind of the same thing over and over again. They rush us. I put my stuff down. I get out my pistol and I fire randomly. And a lot of times, it works beautifully. There have only been a few times where I've actually died. Which is actually quite amazing. If it were payload or any other game mode, I feel as though I would die more often. And then right here you see... You can't really see it because of the phaser recruiter sign that's up there. But I can't really do anything about that. I can't really move it. Since it's a banner for the top. And I kind of like it where it is. But they get down to about 30 seconds and we eventually take it off. Take them down. And then right here, the only reason I'm actually putting the sentry gun in the control point is because of the fact that they're already at the control point. I failed from keeping them from getting to the control point, so I have to defend from inside. You know, it, it, it happens from time to time, but there's not much you can really do about it. I mean, like I said before, honestly, your dispenser is used so little, and this is such a fast-paced game mode, that upgrading any of your devices, sentries, uh, dispensers, or teleporters, is completely stupid. It is honestly one of the dumbest things you can do. Okay? Now then, the the sentry, or sorry, not the sentry, the dispenser is mostly for me as an engineer, because of the fact that I'm running around just firing my pistol, and this is something I didn't know for the longest time. You can just hold the fire button. Just hold your mouse button. Your left mouse, just hold it, and you'll fire faster than you could ever shoot normally. I've been playing this game for quite a while now, and I, I just learned that. Pretty sad, huh? <laughs> Anyways, like I said, I'm honestly just firing my gun randomly at them, right? So the dispenser is mostly for me to go and replenish my ammo for my pistol, for my shotgun, and to get more materials so that I can keep building mini sentries. As the offensive of NG, that is something you need to always do. Wherever the enemy is, put a mini sentry. Honestly, it doesn't matter where the enemy is coming from, you have a sentry between you and them. Always. Always. I don't care if there is you and one other engineer standing 10 feet away from each other. You put your sentry gun down, and then you pull out your pistol. That way, you're going to win the battle. Hopefully. As long as he doesn't have the same loadout and has less lag than you. Then he'll probably win. But, point is, you want to have that gun out all the time. Because even though it does such small amounts of damage, it fires fast. And when you combine your pistol with that, you can decimate anybody. And that's the main point here, is that we're going for complete decimation of the enemy. Alright? As well, we're also trying to support our team by holding the enemy back and by giving them that mobile, um, the mobile resupply, being the dispenser, right? We want to give them a place so that, say the enemy is coming at us, we want to have a place we can fall back to and still hold the line, if you will. I hope you don't mind me saying stuff like, hold the line. I'm not a soldier. I don't... I only play war games. Okay, I'm sorry. But, uh, you want a place to be able to fall back to, but still, obviously, be close to the line. See right here? There's a pyro right there. Bothering me. So, I'm gonna put the sentry gun down, so that it's... A, a shield is a deterrent between me and him. Right here you're gonna see that he's actually coming towards me, but my sentry gun and my shotgun keep him from actually hitting me, which is important. That was honestly the main reason I started putting out a dispenser was because of that damn pyro. 
I hate being set on fire, you burn to death, it's awful. And there's almost no health packs around here. That's the only reason I started placing down the dispenser, but then I saw that my team was using it. That my team was benefiting from it. Like right here, you see, they're coming around that side, so that's why I put my sentry there. And instead of picking up my sentry and going to the control point with it, I'm obviously going to go to the control point myself. Because the main thing is to get them off of it, and I move slowly with the sentry, and it's going to take me a while to get there. So, I might as well run up there with my pistol blazing, and just own some fools. And then here, you see, we've, we've secured it. We've got it. They are stuck in their spawn here. You know, some of them are getting out a little bit, but I'm just firing randomly into a crowd. If there's ever a crowd, fire randomly into it. Right here, I'm going to end up uh, upgrading this uh, this dispenser, just because I know we're going to win. My health is low, and I got plenty of material, it's full of material, so what? why not, you know? Kill a little bit of time while waiting for my health to come back, get my ammo back, come back, just start spraying some more. Anything I can do to kind of suppress them a little bit, I got my sentry gun on the other side, so I might as well fire on this side, right? Come on, so close, 10, or that's a 60 seconds, oh no, yeah, it is 10 seconds, 1, overtime, and then victory. Anyways guys, I hope you liked this, I know it's a bit long, uh, go ahead and subscribe to Phaser and come check out my own channel, and uh, I will catch you guys next time, peace.